So earlier today, I came across a program that truly shocked me and kind of horrified me a little bit because it's a very dangerous kind of program that I can't believe. Apparently, millions of people use this thing. Again, it was a program I was completely unaware of. And then after doing a little bit of research looking into it, I found out that there are several other similar programs out there that do similar things. Essentially what these programs are, these are pieces of spyware that you install on your own computer or your own mobile device so that other people can monitor your activity on that device. So let me actually show you some of these pieces of software, at least I'll show you their websites. The very first one is Covenant Eyes. What this is, this is a piece of spyware that, you know, if you're one of these people that have this particular application, you can install it on your computer or your phone, and then what you do is you have a buddy or a friend, and, you know, maybe both of you are trying to overcome porn addiction because that's really what the app is designed for it's you can see from the front page here are you struggling to quit watching porn well you're not alone join over 1.5 million people who have used covenant eyes to experience victory over porn and that's crazy if 1.5 million people actually installed spyware on their computers or their mobile devices that is insane i can't you know I'm, I'm, maybe it's because i'm from a different generation you know a lot of younger people don't mind installing this kind of stuff apparently but just we had a different sense of privacy when I was younger, right? the idea of purposely bugging my house, you know, installing listening devices, or in this case, installing spyware on my mobile phone so that somebody can monitor my activity and check if I have been watching pornography or not. I mean, I understand people have addictions to porn. Some people have other addictions that are related to their computer or their phone usage. Maybe you have a gaming addiction or whatever it happens to be, and you want help, but is is this the correct way to get help? Is the correct way to get help to actually install spyware on all of your devices, all of your computer, um, uh, mobile devices, all your digital devices? Let's install spyware. That way I can basically give access to all of my computers and phones to somebody else. So hopefully they monitor my activity and, you know, they can shame me when they catch me watching porn. And maybe that being shamed by this other person will somehow make me overcome my porn addiction. I, none, of, none of this seems like this is the right way to actually beat addiction. For one thing, if you have an addiction to pornography or to really anything else in life, ultimately you have to be able to overcome this yourself. I mean, obviously people go to support groups. People go to like AA meetings for substance abuse and Gamblers Anonymous for gambling addictions, whatever it happens to be. A lot of people have sex addictions, pornography addictions, and it's okay certainly to have a support channel, a support network around you of people that understand and are there to help support you in that, that need, right? But here's the thing. At some point, you have to be able to be on your own and still not succumb to that addiction, right? So you can't, what are you going to do? Are you going to have this spyware installed on all of your devices, you know, on everything that is a computing device? Are you going to have this spyware installed, what, for the rest of your life? And you're going to have Big Brother looking at what you're doing on all of your devices for the rest of your life? No, that's this again, this is insane. And looking through the site here, if I scroll down, you can see this thing has 56,000 reviews on the Google Play Store. So a lot of people have installed this on their Android phones. You can see it's easy to install unlimited devices up to 10 users and a one low price of $17 a month, which I've got to be honest, $17 a month for a piece of spyware on your phone seems kind of expensive. Uh, if I go to pricing, let's actually go to the pricing page here, $17 a month, or you could pay the low price of $184 a year, or if you want an even better price, $750 for a one-time payment, a, a lifetime uh, subscription, essentially. And of course, having not installed the app, and yeah, I can't really speak to the quality of the software other than obviously it's spyware, right? Because it's you giving permission 
permission to somebody else to monitor what you're doing on your phone. It's obviously closed source proprietary software. Also, you do you really know who all is getting what information off of your computer or your phone when you install crap like this? Obviously not. And the other thing, when I said the price, $17 a month, you know, seems kind of high for what this app does. And I mean, obviously that's subjective, but I do think there might be some price gouging on something like this because they know the kinds of people that would install this kind of application are typically people that are desperate, people that want help. So is there, again, a little price gouging going on here? I don't know. You be the judge of that. So when I first heard about this particular service, Covenant Eyes, this morning, yeah, again, I was just shocked and horrified at it. And then I started doing some research. I started doing some Google searches for, you know, this kind of spyware kind of applications. You know, are there more than just this one? Because I, I was shocked to find that there was even a single program that did this. But apparently there's several. For example, Accountable to You. And you can see, defend purity, live with integrity. And this is another one of these programs that it's essentially spyware. You put it on your computers or phones, and then people can monitor your activity on your mobile device. Again, it's uh, particularly useful for porn addiction, but it can be used for other things. But I, again, I, I don't know. Like, do you really want people to know exactly what you're doing on YouTube, what you're watching on YouTube, what you're watching on Netflix right now, what you're doing on Facebook? Again, this from, from a privacy perspective, I can't imagine any human being wanting to do this, no matter what, no, no matter in what kind of shape you're in as far as, you know, if you got some serious addiction problems or whatever it happens to be, there are certain there are certain lines I just don't think we need to be crossing. And if I click on pricing for accountable to you, you can see it's quite a bit cheaper than Covenant Eyes, only $7 per month instead of 17 per month. So, you know, again, at least it's not really trying to take advantage of desperate people as much as the other application that I showed you earlier. Here's another one that I came across. Again, there's so many of these. This one is called Truple, and you can see, rid your home of porn, and then it's got porn uh, scribbled out, and then it says all online filth. So basically, you can have people help you monitor your, again, internet activity, your mobile activity, you know, that way people know exactly what you're doing on your phone. That way they can shame you. And the way this one does it, you can see, protect loved ones by monitoring device usage via randomly captured screenshots. So every now and then it's just going to screenshot your phone or your, your computer or whatever. And that way it can send whoever you gave permission to to monitor your activity to help you overcome what it, whatever it is you're trying to overcome they get these random screenshots from your device every now and then think about how incredibly privacy invasive that is you know, there could be some serious situations with an application like this think about this if you were i don't know doing something really sensitive like online banking or something like and it for whatever reason decided to take a random screenshot at that time and then share it with whoever like these these programs are so incredibly dangerous they're far more dangerous than the porn addiction or whatever it is that they're trying to help people overcome and i know you know I, i'm a bit of a boomer you guys love telling me that you know all of my takes are boomer takes you know these privacy takes i have or my take as, as far as free software versus proprietary software and things like that. But honestly, what the hell are we doing, guys? Right? It, it, once it gets to the point where people, apparently millions of people, are installing spyware, obvious spyware, it's spyware up front. It, it actually claims, hey, this is a piece of spyware. Please install it on all of your computing devices. And people do it. Like, and, and nobody seems to have a problem with it. Apparently nobody has a problem with it because as soon as I discovered that these pieces of software existed, I was actually looking on the internet to see if there was any real outrage about it. And honestly, there's not. There's a few people that bring up, you know, as far as, you know, are these pieces of software moral in a sense that, you know, like with the porn addiction thing, should you be 
sharing that kind of information with somebody else so they can shame you? Like, like, is it actually helpful in that addiction recovery? But nobody seems to get it as far as from a privacy standpoint. I don't see enough outrage at this kind of stuff. And I think those of us that are older, that have a little bit of a different kind of worldview, those of us that think that privacy is a real thing and that I don't need to be on camera every second of every day. I don't need to be on camera 24-7, 365. I don't need to be having my audio monitored through various microphones on all of my devices 24-7, 365, right? Privacy is a real thing and it needs to be protected. It needs to be respected. And we need to be teaching our young people this as well, because young people today, I see kids today coming up and this kind of spyware stuff, you know, they're installing spyware now on these kids' laptops and Chromebooks in school so they can monitor what the kid's doing on their homework and tests and all of that. And I, of course, I'm vehemently against all of that because, again, we're we're basically brainwashing the next generation to say, hey, you know what? Spyware. I, yeah, it was bad back then, but your parents were all wrong. Spyware is cool. Now everybody's doing it. And I fear that at some point, one day in the future, we're all going to wake up one day and realize that we really screwed up here. And we're going to wake up one day and go, oh, my God, what have we done to ourselves? Anyway, boomer takeover. Peace, guys.